Hey there, John here, and I'm going to take a, both a front end and a back end of look at the prose theme. It's a child theme by Studio Press, and it operates on the Genesis theme framework. So here we are. We're looking at the front end. Now, um, out of the box, this is what it looks like. It's a very simple, uh, minimal theme, or it can be, but what's really great about prose is it has a huge, uh, easy-to-use um, menu um, basically point and click for customizing your design so don't let this front end look um, dictate your opinion of what this theme will look like because really you can totally customize every element in header how your menus will look uh, your hyperlinks the appearance of a lot of elements of your sidebar. You can completely customize that with point and click and that's what I want to show you today so let's jump in the back end and take a look here we are and we're in the back end. I already have it installed. The theme installs just as all the other Genesis child themes do. First you want to install the Genesis framework. You do that and you activate it and then you install the child theme. So I have Genesis. I have a lot of themes on here. This is where I show you all my videos. So we have Genesis installed. And then what I did is I just went through install and upload and input pros and then you're ready to go. They activate. So you can customize your header under appearance and your background under appearance. But then for all the other customization options you go under the Genesis menu and go to design settings. Now if you're using other child themes of StudioPress, no other child theme is going to have this design settings and if it does it's not going to be anywhere near uh, as thorough as this. Um, this is unique to pros, so that's what's, that's really the sort of selling point of this theme. So here we are. These are all the elements that you can customize with pros theme without knowing any code, and that's key. So, and even if you do know code, it's a lot faster to do it this way. So you just click on a menu item. So we've got a global styles here. You can customize your background here as well, or through the appearance and background. So that's up to you. And then you can set your font color, your global font color, your font type, size, line height, and then you can go to your global links and set up how your links are. Just a tip, if you want people to click links, I've tested this on websites, when they are underlined and in a different color than your regular font, you are going to get a lot more clicks. So maybe you don't care about that, but if you do, uh, it makes a huge, huge difference. So you can customize your click colors, your wrap area, you can totally customize that. What's kind of cool is you can customize the border size so that, that a border on a website can make a big difference in how it appears. You can customize your header here um, in terms of the size it's going to be, so that's a really nice feature. Then you have your header title, your tagline. And here you can totally set up your primary navigation menu bar, Ch change the colors, the font, the whole nine yards and your secondary navigation here. You can customize how your breadcrumb navigation operates. You can turn breadcrumb navigation off under Genesis theme settings if you don't like having breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are those little there's sort of a website site map and it shows visitors that usually at the top of a post where they are in a website. Your post info, your post meta, customize your block quotes. You can input a notice box, which is really cool. So you can customize how your notice box is going to appear and then you can input that in with that color code or sorry, short code into your blogs and posts. Headlines, you can change how your headlines show up. You can make them smaller. And here you can customize all your H1 through H6. So you can make them all different, which is a nice feature. And you got post title links. You got your sidebar widget headlines, sidebar text, footer widget areas footer widget headlines if you're going to use them. You customize your footer if you like, the how the font's going to appear. Your input boxes, submit buttons in general. So basically with all of these options here you can totally change the way your website's going to be and you can make it unique and add your personal touch. So it's cool. Now here's the deal with pros. If we jump back to our... See this is going to be really a blog website. It's going not going to be uh, a static home page. I mean you can make any particular page a static home page but it's not going to have a nice slideshow and it's not going to have a lot of the elements like widget zones on the home page that you're going to see with other uh, studio press child themes. So keep that in mind. It's really ideally suited for a blog style website. And so I want to show you one other thing here. 
If you use advertising for your website and you sell banner ad placements or use AdSense or something like that, what you can do is you can go to your Genesis Simple Hooks. Now it's a plugin that you install separately and you have all these inputs and there's tons and tons and tons of them and you can input ads in here and so they'll show up at different parts of your website. So if you wanted to create something that shows up at the top of the website like a leaderboard like nine 28 pixels wide by 90 in height, you can input that um, wherever it's going to work. And you're going to have to play around with the, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out where each of these different um, uh, hooks are going to show up on a particular website, so you're going to have to play around with that. But uh, it's a really nice tool if you're going to use uh, advertising. You can use uh, ad uh, plugins as well, and they'll place various ads wherever you like. So that's our behind the look at pros. If you want to blog with your own personal touch on there and don't know how to code, uh, I strongly recommend checking it out.